So I wanted to do a short video on an artist I, well, I can't say that I love this artist, but I absolutely love this piece of work by him. It's a piece I can sit in front of and contemplate for a while, and I visit it as often as I can. The artist is Marc de Souvereau, born 1933 in Shanghai and came to the U.S. when he was eight, San Francisco specifically. When you see this, I don't think it's surprising to know that he had a background in shipbuilding, because for me, this is a, a shipwreck, a tragedy, uh, the aftermath of something. But I've never read anywhere that that was his intention. The title, Ke Faro Senza Yuridici, done in 1959, translates to What Will I Do Without Eurydice, references a Greek myth where Eurydice is married to the musician Orpheus, and she gets bit by a snake and dies, uh, goes to the underworld, obviously, because that's where all the dead people go. Orpheus, being this wonderful musician, brings the deities and nymphs to tears with his music playing and is encouraged to go to the underworld to get his wife back. So he does. He gets permission to take her home on the condition that he won't look back when they're leaving. And of course he does, because how else are you going to have a tragedy? So I can see from the title there is a tragic overlay on the piece. But for me, it's a shipwreck. And I can't help thinking about Jericho's Raft of the Medusa, painted in 1818. And here I'm going to read from Wikipedia. After a shipwreck in July of 1816, about 150 people were sick set adrift on a makeshift raft and all but 15 died in the 13 days before their rescue and those who survived endured starvation, dehydration, and practiced cannibalism, which was supposedly the custom of the sea, whatever that means exactly. So with all that in mind, when I walk around this piece and think about it, I always hear people crying and grieving and it's just imbued for me with an overwhelming sense of sadness and beauty. I find it just so beautiful. And I just love it. I don't know what that says. Well, I do know what that says about me. Perhaps that's a video for another day. So those are my thoughts on Mark de Suvero's Que Faro Senza Yuridici. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like to share comments, I'd be very interested in hearing what you have to say. And please consider subscribing. Thanks.